Bless up, we in Miami, one on one with Jacopo. My vibe, everything cooler. And I know you My name is Jacopo. I was born in Orange County, California, and I grew up in Opolo, Samoa. My love for music started at an early age. My mother was a piano teacher, and I used to climb on the piano bench when she would get off the piano at as early as age, like three and four, and started mimicking how my mom was playing. Um, I just remember always loving music and singing and playing music. When I was 13, I got my first guitar. And, um, you know, from there, it's history. People always ask me what attracted me to reggae music. Um, well, I listened to reggae music. I was just uh, always part of my collection, just with all the music. Um, growing up in the islands, reggae music was like the main music that um, I listened to and identified with. And it's kind of um, um, something about reggae music, the rhythm and the, and the energy of reggae music. It's very earthy and, and natural and has an um, essence of some depth. To the to the music, I think that's one of the things that I connected with originally. But um, I mean, my favorite band ever since I was like a little kid was UB40. I want to tell people with my music um, that we are all one, and that we're all connected, and all the experiences that we're all going through it affects the whole of all of us. We can create our own destiny. We can make this world a better place. Things don't have to be the way they are. Listen to yourself, listen to your heart. Follow your greatest aspirations. Follow your dreams. Trust yourself. Love yourself. Because you can't love anybody unless you love yourself. Being born in America and raised in Samoa and Hawaii and living in Jamaica and Japan, all, all of the cultures and countries that I've lived in and grown in, you know, it, it makes you see how we're all one and we're all the same and, you know, no matter, we all go through similar things and experience and feel similar emotions and um, in maybe in different forms in different ways. Um, and it also is great because you can see um, different different sides and different perspectives of, of, of different things and you know Star boy, that's who we be. How Touchdown came about well um, me and Russian started talking um, through uh, a mutual connect and um, we started talking and, and building ideas for a song and um, it, um, we just had a great connection, we got in the studio. Yo, my name is Russian, straight out of Kingston, Jamaica and I'm a music producer. I produce for artists like Sean Paul, Shaggy, Faruko, Kevin Gates, Vibes Cartel, Conscience, uh, Marshall Montana, and the list goes on. You know, we made we made this song about a real life situation. Um, it's kind of uh, you know a real situation, but we kind of made it in, um, out you know in a kind of fun way. And um, we recorded this song, and I, I walk out of the studio. I was like, man, this feels like Shaggy would be the right fit. Shaggy would sound so good on this verse. I was like, I like I. It sounds like it's supposed Shaggy's supposed to be on it. And it just so happened that Shaggy was in Miami at the same time. I hit Shaggy up and I was like, yo, I have a song I want you to hear. And I sent it to him. He loved it. He said he would do it. He came by the studio, I believe the same day or the following day. Laid it and it was a hit. 
we made history right there. It was amazing working with Shaggy. Shaggy's a superstar. He's awesome. He's a living legend. Yep, that's, that's what it is. Hold on. Where do you see yourself? I'm not doing that one. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Should I do it? I'm always continuing to aspire for greatness and growth. And I hope that never stops. And that's what I, that's what I plan to do, just to keep on growing, sharing my music, expanding, sharing love. I mean, I mean, there's a lot of things that I could imagine myself doing, like, you know, buying huge pieces of land and um, making like self-sustainable communities. But that's always been something on my mind that I've dreamed of doing. Um, giving back and caring for Mother Earth and for the ocean and raising awareness and environmental consciousness and spiritual consciousness. Um, sorry, I probably said too much, but hopefully you can just take some. <laughs>